when I got to the PGA Cup the first time, didn't really didn't really know what was coming. wasn't aware of uh, how much you would get my juices flowing. Uh, I've been pretty much an underdog with my golf through my career, so I loved going head to head with some powerful players. Um, the um, the feeling of playing for your country, your family, your supporters, your teammates, uh, representing all of them, the PGA, uh, if you channel it the right way, it raises your standard without question. Uh, I definitely believe at the end of the day it comes down to the at your attitude as a player that can help you to raise your standard. Um, there's, a, there's very much an American attitude uh, which is dominant, bullish um, and I think that's the thing that I enjoyed the most was to be able to look them in the eye knowing that I'd give them all I had, I'd leave nothing on the golf course um, and my, my record stands up against some very powerful players on some very very good golf courses. Um, it's, it's a point we will sell to the team uh, from the experiences I've had you have to approach it with a feeling of invincibility, um, not being not being or being prepared to to be the the the, the schoolyard bully, to, to push back. Um, I love it. I, it's in my blood. I just think it's having played a few opens, having played a few European Tour events. Uh, it's the one event that uh, probably brings out the best in my golf, the, hopefully the best in me. Um, yeah, it means means everything. Take me back to Reynolds Plantation, that first tee. What's it like standing on the first tee in your first PJ Cup match? Uh, more nerves on the first tee in the PJ Cup than I felt anywhere else. Um, I think a lot of that comes from the fact that you now realise you're playing for other players, for other teammates. Uh, but at the same time, stood on the first tee with your teammates around you, uh, with your captain around you, with family around you, uh, makes it easier. Um, but yeah, you just if you're teeing off first, you just make sure you get your ball on the peg as soon as you know you're going to be teeing off first and then walk away from it, leave it alone, come back to it when you're ready to hit it. Um, but the, the, the adrenaline is flowing from very early, um, you embrace the fear, just just love the challenge. Captaincy is a unique position, how have you been preparing for the role? Uh, sleepless nights, um, I managed to whittle down uh, 70 potential captain's picks, I think I'm down to a dozen. Uh, it's been all encompassing to the point where competitively I'm weaker. Uh, but I like to think that I've covered with my backroom team as many of the uh, the problems that might arise or the situations that might arise already. Um, based on everything that I've found so far, uh, my decisions, our decisions, can only... Um, loses the map, so it's very important that we make good decisions. Uh, we have compatibility tests in place for the players, very important we put the right partners together. Uh, we've got a lot of good formats to make sure that we've got the right blends of players. What will be your overriding message to the players ahead of the matches? Uh, win. Don't, don't come back without a point. And the size of the task, we've never won on US soil. How much of a challenge is it and what do you think will be the key to winning at Cordoba? Uh, the challenge is huge, um, without question. The key will be attitude. The key, the key will be... I've never doubted our ability as golfers uh, from a skill set point of view. Um, it's attitude. You've got to be able to, to look them in the eye and feel that you are comfortably their equal and believe that you're comfortably their equal. Um, I'm looking for dogged, determined, stubborn, uh, self-believers. I know I'm, I'm going to get great players, 
I'm looking for a, a group of ten to become a team, uh, to become a gang, all pushing in the same direction, all seeing the same goal. Uh, our mission statement will be very much about them moving forwards as a group. Um, have, having had individual success in Reynolds Plantation, having played four matches, uh, one three, halved one, it doesn't mean anything because we lost. Uh, to me, it didn't, it didn't mean I did all I could. The other team members did all they could. We lost. It was, you know, I look back on it fondly from the point of view of, of my teammates, of the whole experience. Uh, but it's not something I look fondly back as a as a competitor. Um, I'm not. I mean, it, I, I saw a great saying the other day. I'm either winning or learning. I never lose. I'm either winning or learning. Um, and in Reynolds Plantation, it was a it was a tough lesson to learn that regardless of how good one guy is on a team, it's a team. So we need uh, ten guys performing. At their peak, we will do our utmost to make sure that come the Monday morning when, when they get to the golf course to play, they'll already know exactly how important it is to us, but equally how important it is to them. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm really excited. We, we will make sure that they're, they've got a very clear idea of what's coming, how big it is. How, how much it will mean to them, probably more so in two years' time, three years' time, four years, when they look back on it and they've become uh, the history makers, the first GBNIT to go to America and win. Yeah, that, that's, that's, when it'll, that's when it'll matter the most. Um, but at the same time, I'm, I'm aware of this immovable object that we're going to come up against. And I'm, I'm ready for the challenge. My backroom team are ready for the challenge, and I know the by the time we finish with the players, they'll be they'll be itching to go. Tell us about the course, because obviously it will be new to many of the players. And what kind of challenge does it present? Uh, for me, it's a it's a classic American style golf course, big golf course, uh, relatively long, wide fairways, uh, real emphasis on uh, fantastic course management hitting to sections of greens where the flags are placed as opposed to just hitting it onto greens, uh, being aware of the consequences of, of a bad shot, where to miss, where not to miss. Um, it's in a beautiful place. Um, the, the comfort level is very high. Um, I managed to get around the golf course, so I expect the players to be able to, to get around the golf course. And just finally, John, you're one of a very small number to have captained uh, the PJ Cup. What does it mean to you as a PJ professional to have that honour? Uh, well, it, it is an honour to captain, but the honour will come with the result, as far as I'm concerned. I feel privileged to be in this position. Um, but it's all about the result. Um, I don't want to be a captain that's gone to America and lost. Um, that will be something I, I won't enjoy looking back on at all. So I'm determined to make sure that we become the first of many teams to go to America and, 